I think this time we're probably going to actually mark out where my camera frames are. That way, at least kind of stay in frame. That is weird. <laughs> uh, plan that one out. All right, that is my work area. That way we stay in frame. So let's uh, keep that in mind for this time. Usually when I make these kind of videos, I'm working down here, not realizing where I can actually see. So in this video, I'm going to be rebuilding this fuel pump. Fuel pump number is 438559. It's used on all kinds of things. To rebuild it, we have rebuild kit number 438616. And since we are missing the top, I went ahead and picked up a fuel cap. So this is going to be for my three-cylinder motor that somebody spray-painted green. I picked this up, came with a bracket. Don't know the condition of the pump. May work, may not. But for the price, I don't want to not rebuild it, find out another work, order more parts and sit around for weeks for it to show up. You know what I mean? I don't want the downtime. So our kit has some instructions and let's see what we got. All right, so this gasket is for the older style caps. It still fits, you can still use the older style caps. So this will be handy for future use. This is the pump gasket in case your pump doesn't use this little pulse. It uses the pulse through that hole. That's what the gasket's for. Don't need it. O-ring, which is for our cap here. I should have brought a razor blade. So, a little squished, but it'll be fine. So there's the cap O-ring. Should have our check valves and our O ring. Uh, that should have gone in the center there, but it don't. I don't think it does. Well, it's a different color than I'm used to. Usually it's black. This one's bluish, so maybe it doesn't go there. Or maybe I'm missing an O ring. Oh. That's kind of important. So no center o-ring, but not the end of the world. All right, this should be pretty easy given the number of parts we have. Oh, <laughs> let me show you the instructions. So it gives you a little layout or parts breakdown of how this thing goes. Uh, contents of kit, which number eight, they call the small cover o-ring. Oh, look at that. It's easy. Take apart your pump carefully. Take note of position of each part. Place a drop of oil on stem at each check valve. Install the check valve by pushing the stem through the center hole with your finger or a pencil eraser until the enlarged head is through the housing. So you push it sideways and back up. Do not use your fingernail, pencil point, or any other tool. Blah, 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 and that's basically it. The rest is all in French, German, Spanglish, whatever other languages are in there. So, we have no instructions. Should be pretty simple, just take it apart, remember how things went, and put it back together. Although, I suppose that's the instructions for most things. Like, oh, here's my 700R4 I'm rebuilding. All you do is you buy the transmission kit, take it apart, put the new parts in, and you're done. <laughs> There's more to it than that. Anyway, so, screws. There's the cover and gasket. Gasket's really not too bad. So, new one is a different color. Goes there. I use this as an assembly guide. Let's 
Okay, end of the gasket, we have a base here. Yeah, it's pretty rock hard there. So, spring goes there. Now it doesn't look like we got a new one of these, although you would think we would have. that back and we have I believe this would be called the diaphragm I doubt that worked you want to rip that get the old ones out it's gonna cut the base off and the top falls right out these are still pretty pliable, so I doubt there's anything wrong with them. So it recommends using a drop of oil. On the parts, little rubber things anyway. So, got a little bit of oil in this little can. I know how I'm gonna do this. I suppose a Q-tip would have came in handy, but it's fine, right? Yeah, hand's gonna get all oily. Uh, if you're concerned with the way it goes, you can, you know, if you forgot like I just did, just look at the instructions on which one goes where. So holding it like this, this one goes in the top. And apparently you just wiggle it in. So that's one side. Hmm. Let's see why they say not to use a tool, because that's what you want right about now. All right, it is in there. The shaking back and forth, and it went. Put the drop in the center. The other side. All I'm doing is kind of working it back and forth. Sorry for bumping the camera repeatedly, but you'll get used to it. Okay, I washed it down with some oil. Oh well, <laughs> dry paper towel. And make sure that the back of this is good and clean. You want to get the dust off the front too. Gasket followed by this guy which would go this way. Spring parts. A diaphragm and our gasket. And we have this little piece, a little dirty, but this one is a little bent. So, which one do I want more, the bent one or the dirty one? Yeah, looks like I'm reading the old one. See, that's a problem when you buy things and they send it to you in a little package. See, it can get crushed under something else that's bigger and heavier, and that's what you're left with. So, now, just gotta put all this together. That is gonna be the tricky part. If I move that, then all this falls apart. Let's be honest, 
That's not the worst idea. So I'm going to put the screws, long ones I took out, in the box back here to use as alignment pins. I'm going to slide this back together. That worked quite well, I'd say. So while well, squeezing it, all right, two screws are in. I feel about holding it in there. So that little uh, plastic piece here, this guy, you push it in, it comes out this little tiny hole in the back. So all I did was lightly grab that just to make sure it couldn't go back in. That kept my spring under pressure by holding that back, allowing me to put this on with the two alignment pins and then squeeze everything together. This pin, you can kind of push it, moves, so we're good there. And then the other spring is held, holds this guy in, which is also working. So it tells me it's all back together the way it should be. So pretty, pretty easy little pump to build. We need a screw and we need a screen, so let's go dig one of those up. Okay, I have the older style cap here with a nice screen inside of it. Nice screw I just cleaned up. I think I'll do is jam it in here first. And slip it on. Well, it goes on just fine, so. And that's all there is to it. That pump should be good to go. So yeah, all there is to it. Pretty easy. Haven't done one in years, and didn't forget much. So, see you later.